What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, and I'm back with Fate Stay Night. Yup, this was a lot sooner than I anticipated I'd be back here listening to this annoyingly obnoxious song. Well, as everyone knows, Fate Stay Night has three routes, and it's basically three different stories. So, let's lay some ground rules first of all. One, I've done away with my old border that I did for the original one just because it was neat in a gimmicky kind of way, but it was also a pain in my ass to edit, so I've just dropped it because it was cool, but eh. Second, if you have not seen, first of all, the Fates Day Night Prologue, which is seen upon activating the game for the first time, check out my previous episodes, 1 through 12. Those cover the entirety of the prologue, which will be sport, which sports information you're going to need. And if you have not seen the Fate Route, which I did before this, I highly recommend you do that first. Because not only does the game assume you have, using information that we've gained from that, uh, my commentary and myself are going to assume that you've seen it. If you have not... I don't know how you couldn't. I mean, obviously, if you were watching these out of order. Basically, what we're doing is starting the second route. What I can probably say is the... I want to say the most anticipated. Just because, you know, probably everyone's still... Like, I know the Heavensville movies are out and everything. Or they're coming out. The first one came out and it was... Eh. I'm just eh about it because a lot of it just seemed like you know, rule of cool kind of stuff. They just kind of, like, threw out the window for a bunch of stuff. Why would two servants be fighting on a fucking, uh... on a fucking freeway? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Everyone's gonna see them. Anyways. <laughs> um. Yeah. But I imagine everyone probably got their first fix either with Dean's Day Night, which is an amalgamation of all three routes, or UBW. Guess which route we're doing? Because we're doing them in order. So, to unlock... The UBW route to even have the chance of getting on to the UBW route, you must have played the Fate route. Hence why it assumes, hence why it doesn't, hence why it uses information from there. It assumes you've played it. It's one of the reasons that make Rialta and Nua kind of eh, iffy, because you can play them out of order. But they didn't alter the story to fix that, so they all just assume you've read them in order. Anyways, yeah. So. Welcome to Unlimited Blade Works. Now, while I'm sure everyone may be familiar with the story, how familiar with it are you? That's the question we're gonna. Oops, that's the question we're gonna answer as I bump my mic. That's the question we're gonna answer as as soon as we start. So, first of all, one thing I wanna also preface about this is I'm gonna be skipping a bit, and I'm gonna be skipping for one deliberate reason. The first part of this does not change from Fate Route to UBW. Only one thing changed and we'll be stopping there because it's a direct, you know, da da da. It's a, it's a choice is what I'm trying to say. So if you have not, uh, if you want to know the information and don't know what it is, I recommend watching episodes 13 through halfway of 26. 26 is about where it'll take place. So with that said, let's begin. Okay, and we're finally back. That took forever. So, where are we now? Well, Shira has just gotten home from being murdered and resurrected, chased out by a blue man with a red spear into his shed, where a blonde girl with an invisible sword fought off the man with the spear. They did battle, chased out, now jumped over the fence where more intruders are located. So this option doesn't even appear until you've completed Fate Route. Like, this scene will just play normally otherwise. So already we see our biggest change in the route already, so stop her. It all happens in an instant. There's a man in red in front of Saber. The man in red is in an unfavorable position after being attacked by Saber, and he's about to receive a fatal blow. Behind them, the person watching Saber from behind that man is someone I know. No! I reach out with my left hand and call out. I don't know who that man in red is, but I'm sure Saber will attack the person behind the man after she defeats him. I 
can't let that happen. I can't let Saber attack her. <laughs> Stop, Saber! Oh, that's weird. I feel a sharp pain. One of the marks on my hand disappears. In its place. Saber halts her blow, which should not have been possible to stop. The silver armor hesitates for an instant. Using that opening, the man in red quickly gets away. That guy. He's... I'm sure of it. That's the guy that was fighting Lancer. Then the girl behind him is... I don't want to believe so, but is it really... Are you insane, Shiro? We should have been able to defeat Archer and his master here. So why did you go so far as to use your command spell to stop me? What could I have done? I don't understand the situation at all. I stopped Saber only because I didn't want to see her slash at the girl who saved me. Master, please retract your order. If you act like this, I cannot defeat enemies that could be otherwise beaten. Saber readies the object in her hands again. In front of her is the red man she could not slay. No, don't do it. To be honest, I have no idea what's going on. But the one, but the one you're about to attack is someone I know. I can't let you attack someone I know. What are you saying? She is Archer's master. She is our enemy, so we must defeat her here. Enemy? She and the man in red are enemies? What? I don't care about that. First of all, I don't even understand this master thing you're talking about. If you're going to call me Master, you should at least explain to me what this is all about. That is true, but... Saber hesitates. Then... So that's how it is, Amateur Master-san. She calls out to me with a polite yet harsh voice. When I turn around, I see the man in red and the girl in her school uniform. I gasp. So I wasn't seeing things. The person with the man in red is definitely that Tosaka Ren. Not to be confused with the other Tosaka Ren. Tosaka Rin. Yeah, that's what I said. How should I put this? Even I can tell that the man behind Tosaka isn't human. That thing is not of this world, just like Saber. Then, if Tosaka is with him, she's also... Oh, you know me? Then this should be easy. First of all, good evening, Emiya kun I don't know what her intentions are, but Tosuga greets me with a big smile. Huh? I'm troubled. When she greets me normally like that, I can almost forget all about these strange events and just greet her too. Uh, are you serious? This isn't the time for greetings, you're... Yes, I'm a master as well. In other words, I'm a magus like you. We're similar, so we don't have to hide it, right? Yeah, similar. Um, That is totally what I am. Magus? You're a magus, Tosaka? My eyes widen and I point at Tosaka. Oh. Crap. I don't know why, but she's... She's looking at me with real irritation. Uh, no, that's not what I meant to say. I see. I get it now. So that's how it is, huh? Taking a look at us, she turns to the man behind her. Archer, can you turn into spirit form for a while? I'm pissed right now. I don't mind. But what do you mean by pissed? It means what it means. I can't calm down unless I make him realize what kind of a situation he's in. You won't have anything to do until then, so go away. Saber won't be able to lower her sword as long as you're here. Man, how difficult. Well, I shall obey if it's an order. If I may warn you, however, what you are about to do is needless. God, I liked it better when you gave less lip. The man literally disappears. T Tosaka, that was... Let's talk inside. 
You don't know anything, right, Imiya-kun? You can rest assured that I'll tell you everything, even if you say you don't want to know. That sounds terrifying. Saying this, she walks towards the entrance. Wait, what are you thinking? I stop her. And then, she turns and the smile on her face isn't like the previous one. Are you stupid? I'm thinking about a lot of things. That's why I want to talk to you. Emiya-kun, it's okay to be surprised by sudden turns of events. But it might cost your life if you don't just accept it. Incidentally, do you understand that now is one of those times? Oh. Cool. <laughs> it's fine if you understand. So let's go to your place. You're fine with that too, right, Saber? Be fine with it if I could slit your throat. I'll explain things to your master in return for sparing my life. Very well. I do not know what your intentions are, but I shall restrain myself as long as you are helping my master. Oh, whoops. Tosca goes through the gate. She's really pissed. I don't know why, though. I don't know, but... But still. She's totally unlike the way she is at school. Man, imagine that. Someone acting differently than they do at school. Who would have thought? So, I'm in a strange situation. In front of me is the school's number one idol, whom I admire, Tosaka Rin. And following silently behind me is Saber, who calls herself a servant. Oh. The hallway suddenly feels like part of a different dimension. But I can't be a coward forever. I'm a magus, even if I'm just an amateur. Tosaka Rin, a magus just like me, is acting boldly, so I have to act firmly as well. But I can only work out a few things. First, about Saber, who's following me. I'm sure that she's some kind of a familiar, because she calls me master and I've made a contract with her. I've heard that a familiar is a kind of assistant. Most magi transfer a part of their body into something and then summon it as another self. Hey, look at this. Shiro's finally getting some intelligence because he doesn't have to act stupid for the plot. Yet. It is something that assists the magus. Consequently, it's commonly accepted that small animals are the most suitable as to reduce the burden on the magus. So I've been taught, but... What is it, Shiro? No, it's nothing. Saber looks human no matter how you look at her, and she is clearly superior to me, her master. I don't have the magical energy to control someone like that, and more than that, I don't have the magic circuit to summon a familiar. So Saber must be, must rather be something else than a familiar. She said she's a servant. I don't know what that is, but I think the man called Lancer and the man in red with Tosaka were the same thing. Saber called Tosaka a master as well. I guess Magi with a servant are called masters. Hi, welcome to Abridging the Plot 1.0 or 2.0. It seems Tosaka is in Magus as well, but I have no idea who she is. The Imiya family are just outsiders who came to this town in my father's generation. That's why I didn't know that Tosaka was a Magus, and I'm sure Tosaka didn't know that I knew magic. There are several Magi in this town that I don't know about. If Lancer is the familiar of another Magus in this town, does that mean I've stuck my head into a conflict between Magi? Wow, it's pretty big. I'm not used to this Japanese style. Oh, is this the living room, Imiya-kun? Saying so, Tosuko goes into the living room. I should stop thinking. Let's just listen to Tosuko's story. I turn the lights on, and the cops come down my street, preparing to haul me away. Actually, I think that's an ambulance. Whatever. It's already past one in the morning. Oh, it's so cold! Hey, the windows are all broken! Yeah, imagine that. I couldn't help it, I was attacked by this Lancer guy, I was desperate. Oh, I see. Then were you fighting him alone until you summoned Saber? I didn't fight him, he just beat me up. Oh, so you don't try to show off, huh? I see, I see. You really just did you appear, Emiya-kun. Well, I'm glad to see different routes, same bitch. 
Tosca walks over the to the broken window. Tosca takes a piece of the shattered glass, takes a look at it, and... Yeah, whatever the fuck she just said. I don't speak German. I think that's German. She cuts the tip of her finger and puts a drop of her blood onto the glass. What kind of magic is this? The shattered glass recombines and restores itself in a matter of seconds. Tosaka, that was... It's just a small demonstration. It won't be enough to repay you for saving me, but I have to do at least this much. Well, I'm sure you would have fixed it even if I hadn't, but that'd just be a waste of magical energy, right? All you'd really have to do is replace the window, but we don't want to talk in this cold, do we? She says this as if it's completely natural. But, needless to say, her skills are beyond my comprehension. No, that's amazing, Tosaka. I can't do that sort of thing, so I'm glad you fixed it. Well, time to get down to the point where... Let's get down to business! To tell you... I suck! I can't do magic! No, I can't! Don't hit me! I'm the saddest runch you've ever met. I don't know. Anyways. Huh? Of course she'd be able to fix it. Handling glass is elementary. Restoring glass that broke a few minutes ago is like simple admission... Uh, like a simple admission test for school, right? So that's how it is. I was only taught by my father, so I don't even know the basics or the elementary stuff. Tosca freezes. Damn, it seems I said something I shouldn't have. Wait, then you're saying you're just an amateur who can't even run his own workshop? What's a workshop? <laughs> I don't have a workshop. Well, I do have the shed as my training area, but I think Tosca would get mad if I called that my workshop. Yeah, yeah, she would. I'm going to ask even though it's impossible. Could it be that you don't know how to handle the five main elements? Nor how to make a pass? I don't even know what a pass is. I honestly admit that I don't know. Wow, that's scary. She's so beautiful usually, so this makes her look pretty frightening now. Then what are you, just an amateur? Yeah. <laughs> that's not true. I can at least use strengthening magic. <laughs> Strengthening, that's an awfully odd magic, so you can't do anything other than that. Well, to be honest, probably not. Her glare makes me answer vaguely. Jeez, why did Saber get summoned to a guy like this? Because I, Nasu, deemed it so! It makes me mad. I haven't been playing around. I know I'm an amateur, but I think, yeah, but I don't think it matters right now. Well, I guess it doesn't make any difference. There's no point in complaining about what's already happened. More importantly, I have to pay back my debt right now. Tosca takes a breath. Well, I'll begin. Emiya-kun, you don't know what kind of situation you're in right now, correct? I do. I nod. Oh, great. It's time for the breakdown again. Uh, I'm debating on whether or not I should just skip this or leave it in because we've already heard it. I thought so. Well, it was obvious, but I had to make sure, right? It's only putting flab on my mind if I explain it to someone who already gets it. I think that was a weird phrase, but I stay quiet as I think she'll beat me up if I make fun of her now. To put it bluntly, you have been chosen as a master. You have a holy sign on one of your hands, right? On your hand or on your arm. There are, there are personal differences, but there should be three command spells engraved. That is the sign of a master. On my hand? Oh, this. Yes, that is also a spell that controls a servant, so take care of it. It's called a command spell, and you can retain control over your servants as long as you have it. What do you mean, as long as I have it? The command spell reinforces unconditional obedience. The mark overrules your servant's will and makes them obey your command. Ish. There's no spell needed to activate it, and it will be activated when you put your mind to using it. You'll be killed if you lose all your command spells, so be careful. What? I'll be killed? That's right. Masters killing other masters is fundamental to the Holy Grail war, and the master that kills the other six masters is awarded the Holy Grail. What? H hold on. I don't understand what Tosca's talking about at all. 
Like the part about masters killing other masters, and the part where the winner gets Holy Grail. Wait, does she mean that Holy Grail? You still don't understand, to put it simply, you've been dragged into a game, a survival game between the seven masters, a game called the Holy Grail War. A battle royale that won't end until you kill all the other masters. Tosca Rin uh, states this as if it's the most natural thing in the world. The phrases I heard swirl in my head. I have been chosen as a master. Tosca says she is a master. Familiars called servants. And a battle to the death between magi called the Holy Grail War. Wait, what's that? What are you talking about all of a sudden? I understand how you feel, but I'm just telling you the truth. Besides, you should understand deep down, having nearly been killed by the servant twice, you should know you're in a situation you can't run away from. That's... Certainly, I was almost killed by that Lancer guy, but... Oh, that's wrong. In fact, you weren't almost killed. You were actually killed. I'm surprised you're alive again. Not almost killed, but actually killed. Great. That's right. I was killed by that guy. I should be more surprised uh, about the fact that I'm alive than about the situation I'm in. The wound in my chest, the escaping blood, the escaping warmth, and the pure voice I heard amidst all of that. Do you get it now? This is your situation. You can run away. You can't run away just because you don't know anything, but but you're prepared to ensure make us right. We are being to kill and are killed. Tosca is in a good mood, maybe because she enjoys watching me be troubled. Yeah, I'm already prepared, but... You know I was killed by Lancer, Tosica? I wonder how she knows that fact. Oh man, let's call her on it. Damn, I got caught up in the moment. She's acting suspiciously. That was just a guess. Forget about it. It's trivial. It's not trivial. Someone certainly... Forget about it. Your main concern should be grasping the situation you're in. You're one of the seven masters of the Holy Grail War. Doska turns her back to me and play and paces as if she's a teacher or something. Look, every few decades, seven masters are chosen in the town and are given a servant. A master uses his or her servant to kill other masters. This is the ritual called the Holy Grail War. I've also been chosen as a master. That's why I made a contract with a servant and you made a contract with Saber. It doesn't seem like you summon Saber yourself, but servants are given to the master by the Holy Grail. So it is possible for an ignorant magus like you to be chosen as a master. <laughs> Rio no escape. <laughs> Tuska's explanation is too brief for me to understand, but there is one thing I do wonder about. Hold on, you say Saber is a familiar, but I'm not convinced. Familiars are things like cats and birds, right? Well, I do hear that some use human ghosts, but Saber has a body. Besides, she doesn't look like a familiar. I glance at Saber. Saber is quietly listening to our conversation. She looks just like a human being. I don't know her identity, but she's a girl about my age. You wish. Familiar, huh? Well, servants are in that category, but they are on a different level. The girl up there is a ghost ghost liner, considered to be the strongest of all familiars. Ghost liner, then do you mean she really is a ghost? A ghost, huh? She's similar, but Saber would kill you if you compared her to one. Servants are heroes of the past given bodies, being sur surpassing humans more like spirits. Heroes with past given bodies? That's right, legendary hero that was pulled from the past to the present or whenever given a body. Well, it's the role of the master to summon them and the Holy Grail does the rest. If it's possible for a magus to give shape to a soul, so we are assisted by a strong artifact. Hold on, so a hero of the past means what? I look over at Saber. Then she's a heroine from the past too. Well, it's true that nobody would dress like that now, but still. That's impossible. I've never heard of any such magic. Of course not. This isn't magic. Think of it as a phenomenon created by the Holy Grail. It's impossible to recreate a soul and give it a body without... Give it a body without it. Recreate a soul, then a servant isn't a ghost. No, haven't you been taught that all humans, animals, and machines that leave any great achievements behind get removed from the ring of reincarnation and sublime into beings of higher rank? Oh, sweet Jesus Christ, this may be more complicated than the fate explanation. Hell, this might actually be the fate explanation. I'm not sure anymore. I'm just trying to hurry past this as quickly as I can. Heroic spirits are like that. To put it simply, they have been worshipped and made into artificial gods. Ghost magic, ghost magic such as su uh, supplicating ghosts, uses heroic spirits to make miracles happen. But the servants are familiars made from the heroic spirits themselves, so they accompany you in spirit form, but need be you can give them form to take to make them fight. So you mean you can give them form or keep them in spirit form? That guy that was with you disappeared by turning into spirit form. Yep, he's keeping watch on the roof now. I think you could tell from that battle, but the only ones who can beat these servants are other servants, spirits like them. Well, we can attack them too if we take form, so... If they take form, so we might be able to beat them. But servants are all as strong as monsters, right? So we let monsters deal with monsters. The master usually supports them from behind. Tosca's explanation irritates me for some reason. She calls them monsters. I don't know about the other servants, but I don't want her to talk about Saber like that. 
Anyway, someone who becomes a master must kill all the other masters using his servant. Do you understand so far? Technically, yes, but I'm not convinced. To begin with, who started such a thing and why? That's not something I know about, nor should I answer. You should pose this kind of question to the one overseeing the Holy Grail War, the one thing I can tell you is that all you can do now is fight, and since servants are powerful familiars, you should use yours wisely. Tosuka says this and turns to Saber. So from what I hear from Emiya-kun, you must be... You must not be in full form, Saber. You were summoned by an apprentice, Magus, who has no idea how to be a master. Yes, I am not in full form, as you say. Since Shiro does not have the magical energy to give me form, it will be difficult for me to turn into a spirit or to replenish my magical energy. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that you're in that bad of a state. But I didn't think you would honestly tell me. I was wondering how I ought to find out your weakness. I do not wish to let others know of my weakness, but I do not think I can fool you. It would be meaningless to hide our situation from you, so it will be better for us to tell you our, of our situation and to have Shiro better understand the situation he is currently in. Jesus Christ, I'm out of breath from all of that. Ugh. Correct, and you have a good personality, too. Jeez, I'm regretting it even more now. If I was your master, I would have certainly won this war. Tuska clenches her fists in anger. Tuska, do you mean I'm not fit to be her master? Of course not, idiot. Wow, she just said something like something that any normal person would have trouble saying. What, do you have any more questions? And she doesn't realize it. Her honor student image from school crumbles inside of me. Good going, Issei. Tosca certainly shows no openings, just like a devil. Well, we're done talking, so let's get going. Tosca suddenly says something strange. Huh? Go where? We're going to see the guy who knows all about the game you're involved in, the Holy Grail War. You want to know the reasons behind the Holy Grail War, right? Of course, but where is it? It's already late, so... It'll be fine. It's in the neighboring town, so we should be back by dawn if we hurry. And besides, it's Sunday tomorrow, so it should be okay to stay up late. No, that's not the problem. It's just that a lot of things happened today, so I want to have a rest and think about them. What, you're not going? Well, if you say so. But what about Saber? Tosca asked Saber. Hold on, this has nothing to do with Saber. Don't push her. Oh, you're already feeling like a master. You don't want me talking to Saber? That fucking smug-ass face. Th that's not it. It's just that if what you said is true, then Saber is a heroine from the past, right? So she wouldn't know about this time since she was just summoned. So... Shiro, this is incorrect. Servants can adapt to any time. So I know a lot about this age as well. Really? Yes, this is not the first time I've been summoned in this age. In fact, it's the second. <laughs> what? No way, what are the chances of that? Hey, Tosca is surprised too. So that must mean Saber said something incredible. Shiro, I agree with her. You lack experience as a master. As a servant making a contract with you, I want you to become stronger. Saber stares at me silently. It's a gentle stare that's worried not for herself, but for me. All right, I'll go. So where is this place, Tosca? It's a place we can come back from, right? No, once we go there, we're stuck there forever. Of course, we're heading to Kotomine Church in the neighboring town. That's where the false priest, the one who oversees this battle, is living. Tosca makes an evil smile. It looks like she's having fun dragging me around while I don't know anything. It might be prejudice, but I'm beginning to feel like there's a problem with her personality. Thank <laughs> you.